number one, I would like to call to order the regular board meeting of the Richmond Township Board of Trustees. It's Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. Would everyone please stand and join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Sure. Here. Here. Uh, next item on the agenda is the presentation of the agenda. I would like to add under new business item 13I, municipal credit smart designation to original like EMS. Are there any other amendments, additions, changes to the agenda? I just have a couple of things that I'm going to add under my treasury report. I'm sure we want to add it to the agenda. It's up to you. Are, are they action items? Uh, they are action items. Okay, let's do that then if you okay. don't mind. One is going to be um, County Treasurer's Pay As You Stay Agreement. And the second one would be the remote deposit for tax payments. So County Treasurer's Pay As You Stay and remote deposit for tax payments. Okay. Anything else? All right, hearing nothing else, we'll move on to Public comment. Uh, first item under public comment is the second public hearing for the FY 2021 fire and EMS budget. Uh, I'd like to uh, call the meeting to order. Is there a motion to call the meeting to order, please? I'll make that motion. Is there a support? Support. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion is carried. This is the uh, second public hearing on the fire and EMS budget. Uh, we do have all of our final figures in at this point, and everyone has received them. Um, go back to under new business, so I give the correct numbers. Uh, we did have a, a slight change in the proposed uh, fire expenditure. Uh, originally, uh, um, one of the contracts was going to be $44,458, and it was increased to $45,105. So the total fire expenditure this year proposed is $83,321. And that increased the village rate from 0 0.00555 to 0.00557. And the EMS did remain the same. So the uh, total proposed millage rate for fire and EMS is 0.002857. That being said, I'm going to open public comment. Is there any public comment uh, on the fire and EMS budget? Okay, hearing none. Uh, motion is in order to close the public comment portion of the fire and EMS budget? So There's support? Support. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any further discussion by the board on this? Hearing none, uh -huh. one more motion to adjourn the public hearing on the second, uh, second public hearing for the FY 2021 fire and EMS. I'll make that motion. Support. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion is carried. Okay.
I'll support that. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion is carried. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. Under the consent agenda, we have the building department report, EMS report, office manager report, planning commission report this evening. We did receive the NEMC minutes. A motion would be in order to approve the consent agenda either as presented or if you wish to remove an item and move it down, please include that in your motion. Motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there support? I'll support it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion is carried. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is the financial reports. Kathy has given us a list of the bills that she has paid for the last month. Uh, are there any questions on those at this time? Hearing none, a motion would be in order to approve and pay the bills as presented. I'll make that motion. Is there support? Support. Are there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion is carried. Next item on the agenda is the treasurer's report. Uh, Bob, would you please review that for us? Okay, the June treasurer's report is as follows. The general funds, fire fund, and the balance of $985,104.95. The tax account had a balance of $14,861.80. The other PNC accounts, $43,544.31. The investment accounts, $385,948.41. And the purchase and development rights account, $13,961.78. For a grand total in the June Treasurer's Report of $1,443,421.25. This would indicate that uh, the next page of the township investment shows um, the CDs that were uh, in existence on June 2nd. Uh, yeah, the CD at North Star uh, has matured on June 8th uh, prior to our meeting. It's just been placed into our uh, North Star uh, checking account. Um, you see, see where I saw it. Yeah, checking account's got a much larger balance uh, as of today. Um, and then the fiscal year revenue report is attached. Uh, it shows that uh, we put into the, uh, uh, the township account the remaining administration fee from the tax collection for 2019, uh, which it shows as a deposit there into the general fund. And that's pretty much all on the initial treasury report. The follow-up now, uh, I had asked to so put on this generally the pay-as-you-stay agreement that the county treasurer has proposed that I've given you a, a, a news release that he sent out to uh, all uh, interested parties it's actually called the pay-as-you-go program or pays, P-A-Y-S. Um, but what it appears to be, uh, I was trying to get some further information from the deputy treasurer, Joe Biondo, today, but he didn't uh, respond to my email. It appears to be as a program that's being set up by the county treasurer to allow uh, people that are having difficulties with uh, uh, paying their taxes and they go delinquent to uh, possibly uh, get the township uh, ops into the program to allow those people in dealing with the county to maybe get a reduced uh, interest charged to them on dealing with taxes. That's all I understand. Uh, I did not confirm that um, with the, the, like I said, the Joe Gamble's deputy. But that's my impression. But what the, uh, the township has to do by June 22nd is agree to opt into the program. To my knowledge, there's no cost to us. That's what I know be concerned with. So uh, I want to bring it to the, uh, the attention of the work that we need. I guess um, a board resolution indicate that we're going to opt in that Lennox, uh, at their last meeting, did opt into the program. Um, so uh, that's basically all I have to indicate that I maintain a, a motion to create the resolution to allow Richard Township to opt into the county pay as you uh, go program as outlined by County Treasurer. Uh, 
is there <clears throat> a going to be a template for that anywhere? Do you think? No, in fact, I was surprised I didn't get the email on this program. I just stumbled upon it looking at the, some, uh, some documentation uh, from the treasurer's office uh, on his website. So we should have uh, each of the should have got an uh, email on it. I know the Clinton Township has just got a meeting on it uh, to discuss it in some time later this week. I can see if I can get the resolution and kind of from it. Okay. But I just want to make sure that the board votes on this. Yes. And then we'll get the resolution uh, when necessary, June 27th. Okay. okay, so um, I was writing and I did not get it all down. I apologize. Kathy, did you get the motion down? Do you want to read it again? That you recommended that you entertain a motion? Or shall we ask you, please? I'll, I'll make it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, uh, the motion should be that uh, Richmond Township uh, will participate and opt in to the pay uh, as you go program on the county treasurer allow our residents to uh, benefit from that program that's been created by the country. Is there support on this? I'll support that. Is there any discussion, any more questions from us? The only question I had was you said it, it obviously is not going to cost us any money uh, with the interest of the county. If there was going to be any difference, there would be. So, Okay. And I, I guess I'll, I'll amend my motion to make it clear that we're only participating for the benefit to the residents. Okay. Do you support that thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, if there's no further discussion, we'll go ahead and uh, take a vote then. Do you mind? Roll call. Do you mind? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Salka? Aye. Kathy? Aye. Chris? Aye. Burn. All right. Send. All right. Well, she's carried. Thank you for catching that. I think that's a good deal. Okay. So the second thing I had added to the treasurer's uh, report is um, I've uh, contacted First State uh, from the uh, deputy to get uh, the cost for doing remote deposit and tax checks uh, without having to make lens down there for depositing as we've done in the past. So they provided to us a letter which has indicated that the uh, cost for the machine, uh, the initial cost for the machine would be three fifty. dollars uh, Normally it's $700, they are going to give it to us for 50% discount. This is just going to be like uh, the deposit and the that we have for the general fund checks. Uh, and uh, then there will be a monthly fee uh, of $50 for, I guess, the software costs, etc. I have a, since we've been a treasurer now, this is not a treasurer for 12 years, we've kept some of the administration fee money in the tax account. So, uh, I'm indicating that uh, the initial cost probably for the exchange for the return of the The monthly fee for that software uh, that the first is going to charge. I would just deduct that as a, basically an expense of the tax account. It's not impacting our ta taxpayer money that's been paid because we've got some money set aside there from the administration. And this will all happen within your account, correct? Right, right except for I think the payment, and I, I leave up the board, the payment of the machine itself probably should come out of the general account. Okay. Okay? You'll write something up for me so that I can yes. catch it for you. So we'll, we have to make the request, uh, it'll take a couple of weeks, hopefully, we'll get some time. Okay. Any okay. questions? I don't know if I need a motion. Oh, uh, I guess. Right. It says here you may have multiple authorized users, you may have multiple accounts, scan or Is there a chance that some other department can also use that? Is that what they're saying? I think that that's what they're saying, but you know, the only account we have yeah, in the first case is the tax account, so I would just 
he's uh, given us some information tonight, and I think I'm just going to pass this to you out if I can, please. Okay, you can call the last meeting. I discussed the town's board getting involved in getting a drop, a drop box out there for people instead of having to come into the building. So we had asked uh, Chris uh, to contact other townships about the uh, kind of drop boxes they had and uh, give us some information. And in the process of her doing that, she gave me some information about uh, Lennox Townships, I'm sorry, Bruce Townships Dropbox, which I provided to you in the materials as far as what they have as a Dropbox. And basically, Chris also said, you, know, you get what you pay for. Um, and my initial uh, discussion with you was a little cheaper in terms of the Dropbox that uh, I had initially seen on Wayfair, which is more of a residential type of Dropbox. So, um, the uh, information was obtained on Bruce's from the company that provided uh, their Dropbox to them. And I guess that was the uh, U.S. Mail and Supply Company. Uh, and you'll see in the material I've forwarded to you that that box um, is almost like a stand, standing U.S. Post Office box. Um, you know, box. It, uh, it does cost uh, uh, $780 um, for it and we would then probably um, I'll put some lettering on it about you know, tax payments, uh, election materials, something like that in the front of the box so that people would know and maybe letter that they're going to go to the council and decide like whose time to pass. Uh, it appears to be a very uh, durable box. Um, it's got a locking system on it. Um, it would probably be easy to uh, installed by a cabin on a, on a concrete pad. Uh, it looks like it has to have four bolts put into the concrete and we keep it in a, in a secure location. That, uh, I gave you the other uh, box as a comparison uh, by a different company, uh, which is you know, globalindustrial.com. Their box is pretty similar, it looks like, except that uh, a little shorter, and they uh, suggested having a pedestal, I'll put it on the pedestal. And I, I don't know if I recommend that, but we're going to keep it outside. You can really see uh, the box that uh, Bruce has. So, my, my whole thought in this process is that you know, since it's more expensive than what we discussed last meeting, I think we probably would want to have a motion made to approve the purchase of uh, the box from the U.S. Mail Supply for. It's going to be 780 plus shipping and handling. Uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. Split between two departments, that would be. Yeah, I mean, it would be easy to split between two. But I think we should make a motion that the motion. This is going to take some work to install. We want to make sure that it's secure. <laughs> so I think the motion should be like.
We are now at new business, and first item under new business is discussion of an IT vendor, and a motion would be in order to open discussion on township IT services vendor. Um, that motion. Is there support? Support. All right. If you'd like to come up now and address us.
Correct, and I assume that that is in the parts of your survey. You'll take a look at that PC too and make sure. We can do that, yes. Maybe and, and, and determine how you're connecting remotely and make sure it's the most efficient way to, to be connected remotely. Those are some of the, the, the nuances that we're not, that we're not, even though we provided the equipment, that we're not familiar with how it was necessarily set up. It wasn't a secure connection and so forth. And those are the things that, that we will go through and take a look at for you. Okay. So absolutely. Um, so when you do come to us, this is going to be, uh, if we do authorize a survey, uh, you would come back to us with a uh, proposed monthly charge or hourly? Yeah, so um, after we go through and we do the survey and then we come back and we'll do the review with you of our findings of the survey, uh, what it tends to, the, the purpose of the survey is, is uh, to identify the issues, to remedy the issues, and it's, it's almost the equivalent to remedy pre-existing conditions with health insurance. We want to make sure you're on solid ground before we bring you on a support plan. Because if our objective is to minimize the amount of calls for you. And if we minimize your downtime, it's saving, it's, it's actually saving you money. If you're seeing us five, six, seven times a week, we're not doing our job. If the, the least the least amount that you see us, uh, the more so we're, we're doing our job. And the least, that, that, uh, the least amount of tickets that we have in our end, obviously in our, our, our favor as well because it's more profitable for us. So we want to remedy all your issues. We want to take a proactive approach. We want to focus on keeping you up and running as opposed to what we're going to do when you go down. So um, so after we do that survey and we look to remedy those issues, then based on our findings, we will provide you a proposal as well um, at that same time of, of what I'm going to support uh, is going to look like. We have a, a number of different flavors and options that we can present to you, whether it's an annual or a monthly type scenario as well. So you do run on a month to month, but do you generally prefer, a, like, is it a, a yearly contract that you propose or? We're, we're, we're fairly flexible in that regards. Um, uh, we have two, uh, we're gonna give you an example just with the two other entities in the township. So um, EMS is run on a monthly uh, billable uh, scenario. And then the uh, PD is a pre-purchased uh, block of labor in our, uh, we're not, uh, our, our work scope is a bit more limited there. It's on an as needed kind of basis, so they're, it's a retainer, they're pre-purchasing it in advance and they're getting a discount uh, for pre-paying uh, for the labor in advance, but they're not taking advantage of a lot of the other services that we're necessarily uh, offering. So I'll, I'll be able to present you uh, a couple different options uh, and make a recommendation of what I think is uh, going to work best here as well. Um, does anyone else? What's the cost of the city? Uh, it is about seven hundred dollars. Uh, it is seven hundred and ten dollars. And I thought that you had mentioned when we spoke if we were to go ahead and uh, authorize uh, using your services, we would get that credit. We, 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 we would we would look to. Uh, credit all or, or a uh, proportion that's sort of as correct. So pretty safe to say that IT services is going to start costing us more because we were living pretty easy to drop. I mean that's we just will see. Yeah. 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 Well and generally speaking, I can I can tell you that we cost we cost less than than a a uh, part-time or full-time body and that I always tell you yeah, I always tend to go through this scenario and say uh, the cost of a, a salary and payroll taxes and benefits and vacation time and you don't get sick and you get the skill set of a team of people as opposed to uh, an individual and uh, if that person is uh, gone, there's a greater level of accountability uh, with a company we've been, we've been in business since 1992, uh, so we've been around quite some time, uh, so there's never a I'm never concerned if your password will be cut to the market. And you're 24 7, right? So we have to do well for, uh, for our maintenance clients. We have a, uh, somebody that's all 24 7. So yes, that's correct. So right now, I'm going to be asking for a vote. We make the motion to discuss. So all those in favor say aye. 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 And then I would be entertaining another motion to. Um, authorize uh, tower computers to perform a survey on the townships of IT. 
but she, it's so hard to predict, like COVID-19 throws you a tailspin by supplies. You know what I mean? It's, it's, with a lot. it's always going to be different. But John loves when we stay within our means, because the extra money falls back into the general fund, and we didn't have to pull any from the general fund or capital outlet. And there's still extra in capital outlet, too, that we can use yet. So it's up to you guys if you guys like the way I've kind of enabled things. I send it over to John. I have not gotten anything. Usually, if it's bad, he answers fast. <laughs> I get a <laughs> <laughs> oh, so kind of thing. Can't he go? Okay. Well, see, it's good. You didn't hear from him. Okay. That's what you want, though. Though. Yeah. You just one type of reactor here. I'm sure there's a lot. Oh, what do you see? One. Building department says increased. 
if I if I had to, I would say, sure, we can plan one. Uh, but I'm certainly, if we didn't, that would be okay too. So I'm going to start with Bob on this. I guess it's the odd year that we're supposed to have it. We didn't have it last year, so I guess I don't have a problem with having it, but I'm not interested in having it every day weekend. So we're going to do it. It's going to have to be almost 24% of the weekend. So that's my thought. Bert? Uh, we both need it. I don't think there's a plan to any day. I mean, it's a Yeah, they were just, those were just two months. I just threw them out there. Yeah. And you've got a calendar connected, so. I, uh, if we do it, I think we should pull the name then. Is it in September or October or something? Um, so, uh, is the 5th No. Okay. So then uh, we would have uh, the Saturday after that would be September 12th. And right? that's problematic. Good old days, right? Yeah, that's from good old days. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, I mean, we don't know this year. Yeah. I don't know if they did the same so then um, we would be looking we could do like September 19th or the 26th. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know we know all that we hear and all the things that we're just going to play. Why can't we start in the spring? And we could do that too? Honestly, I mean, and then what? set our own pace for every other year to start because this is such a goofy year with COVID-19 and then also with the double elections and... You want to do it? Yeah, like in May, spring or something. I think I had some people ask me about tires, but I told them, you know, what, what they, they understood what happened. I think most people will understand. I do think so too. What happened? I think that's a good idea, Kevin. I think we should do it maybe. Let's do it late April or late April. Sounds good to me. Don't have a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> because these guys won't care. <laughs> Yeah, you're the one suggesting. Let's go. Yes, sir. Bert, are you kind of about that? Good. I'm, I'm good. Then, I, I think, think that's a good I idea. The tire day is more essential. And that's what people. Like, that's what people have been asking me about. I haven't had your lump off. But now, last time we had it, we didn't have as many tires as we thought we would. Right. right. And we it's only a couple. Like yeah, we thought we were going to be in the end day. Hang on. Put it in that corner. So uh, all those in favor, this is just voting on the discussion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, well, she's carried, so next spring we will look at uh, doing that. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is the approval of resolution of 2020-08 regarding the hazard mitigation plan. A motion would be in order to approve uh, resolution 2020-08. Or, uh, Jeff, I'm going to defer this to you if you would just to kind of review with us. Sure. So, so you, uh, the, the annual uh, hazard mitigation plan is uh, as a, you know, we've been through the uh, the idea of COVID. Yeah, the, the mitigation plan really is a, is a five year commitment to participate in Macomb County and the county's emergency management program. Uh, and, and again, a lot of the pass through of uh, monies and resources to the township in the event that uh, that uh, we would have a large scale emergency in our community. The uh, the hazard uh, the hazard mitigation plan total document really covers a broad area of possible uh, disasters that are going to be flooding the hazardous materials, the severe weather uh, types of emergencies that this just says uh, should we have an event. We're going to cooperate with the county's uh, office of emergency management to uh, rectify and mitigate the issues. So, with that, my recommendation is the uh, board uh, approves the uh, head of mitigation plan with uh, the county site. I can also, I guess, I can also mention under that uh, that, that I think the board was sent some information on uh, some CARES funding uh, that is part of the uh, money the federal government set aside in the first CARES Act uh, that was sent to the county of Macomb uh, to be used for uh, some of the mitigation to the COVID-19 response here in our community. The county developed a matrix uh, for distributing
distributing a portion of those funds to each community, much like they do with CDBG funds. And uh, that document uh, is, 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 is with, uh, with uh, some of the documents you receive tonight. But the short version is um, the uh, it looks like the total allocation for Richmond Township will be thirty-seven thousand three hundred eight dollars. Uh, I will tell you that uh, what we don't know yet is uh, that that information was provided to the Polk County Emergency Management Coordinators. Uh, I'm your Emergency Management Coordinator from the County Emergency Management Office. Uh, but what we don't know uh, is what exactly the funds can be used for. The County Executive's Office was working specifically on that and was going to share that information. We were told by the 11th of June, which I think is tomorrow, with the chief elected officials for each community in the county. So once the supervisor has heard from the executive's office as far as what we can use those funds for, we'll start to develop a project uh, or projects and, uh, and and then come forward with the board for that. And I'll take my doubt. I will just send it out to everybody too. I, I will go home tonight again. Very good. There was nothing earlier today. So. Uh, are there any questions on this uh, for Jeff? Okay, hearing none. Uh, all those in favor, signify to say aye. 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 Motion is carried. Last item on the agenda was an item uh, that was sent by Fred Harbred, I believe, yesterday. Uh, we get a request to basically transfer our municipal and community credit amount from SMART to the Richmond Money CMS. And uh, we do that in the form of adopting a resolution, uh, which gives uh, us the authority to do that. And then uh, the Richmond Money CMS does receive uh, those funds. So a motion would be in order to adopt resolution, uh, Richmond Town's resolution 2020-09. Uh, which will transfer our municipal credit in the amount of $3,610 and our community credit in the amount of $8,887 to Richmond and Lennox EMS for fiscal year 2021. Is there support? Support. So, are there any questions? I'll just let the uh, township know we are seeing a, uh, we're very pleased by the way, we're, we're seeing a significant uh, uh, increase in uh, traffic ridership. Uh, we, prior to COVID, we were uh, transporting about 2,400 people per month uh, on the uh, on small buses. Uh, at the height of the you know the, uh, the COVID event, we had dropped out at about 420 people per month, so a fairly significant uh, impact in that area. Uh, we are starting to bring all of our drivers back to work. Some of them were furloughed during that time, uh, obviously. And our intent will be to have all of the drivers back and all of the vehicles back operating by the uh, by the week after Fourth of July. But we're we're starting to add vehicles now. So we went from just a couple of vehicles operating for pretty much people that need a dialysis and get real medical care. Um, you know, during the COVID event, and now we're starting to get more people that are getting out to the grocery store or other medical appointments. And, and uh, so we're very pleased that uh, people are starting to do the service again. And, uh, like I said, we'll be back up fully operational, uh, you know, by the time uh, you see us again, obviously. Have they requested the service to the airport? We have. We've had, uh, I think we've had two, uh, two requests that we have uh, been able to fill uh, to, the, to the airport. Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion is carried. Okay, uh, next we have items for our next agenda, and the only, um, what, there's only a couple I can think of. Should there be any other budget amendments at all, we will bring them to us. I'm going to do a good job, there won't be. Um, I would like to put a discussion for an RP for engineering services on the next agenda. And we did have a resignation from uh, our Comcast committee. I asked someone today if they'd like to do it, and I got a quick no. <laughs> that would be 
I like was really polite and everything. <laughs> and I told him, I, I could almost see his eyes rolling when I said that, you know, like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chris, Chris knows that uh, one of the things I'm going to be starting to do next year for the Lions, I'm going to be the vice president. So I'll take this and Good. But I, good for you, though. That'll be fun. <laughs> Did you ever think of the past? Okay, there's, there's a very good person I can ask. Thank you, Kathy. She's delightful. She is. That's a great idea. I like that. Too. <laughs> uh, does anyone have anything else for the next agenda? Okay. Which will be all the guys on the back. That's right. IT services, thank you. What did you say, Kathy? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Right, so unless, right, we're not going to have a July meeting uh, unless we get something where we have to meet to approve that, but that would be a somewhat, I, I think, pretty brief meeting. Yeah. And you two all have to meet with our election commission right. at some point. And you can let us know. Yeah. So. Okay, uh, call to the board. Does the board have any comments? My best is one. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Do you have a graduation celebration? A drive-by? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the last four classes had to be done on, through Zoom. But all of them worked out pretty good except for the last one. They had a little bit of technical problem because they had more, every, they had like five or six different speakers, all from the planning and economic development department. They each told their what they do and stuff. So they had a, few, a lot more people involved, and so they had a little trouble there. Once they got it straight down, it worked out fine. But otherwise, I thought the classes worked out good. Good. That's good. Yeah. Anyone else? Quick question. Um, should I have any issues with going to the tax programs and any issues IT wise between now and when we set up the textbooks? We still Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I can come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> 